All right, the Russians, round six. Let's do, let's do five and three. I think we can afford to be a bit more heavy on the artillery purchases now because of the state of Germany. Um, oh, did he actually buy some tanks? He did, he did buy some tanks, okay. That's good, that's great for me. That's really great for me, actually. Because now he needs pure numbers now. <laughs> he needs pure numbers. That's not gonna help him. Right. We'll save Kazakh for the UK. We can just worry about um, this. I miss that fighter, I really do. I'm not going to do anything crazy up here, I'm just going to sit tight and pull back probably. And just trade when they get close. Okay. Let's do that. Fingers crossed on Belarus, this is the only... Nice, nice. I never feel comfortable just doing that on the artillery and infantry because I've lost that battle so many times. I never feel safe doing it. Even this doesn't feel safe. I hate the attacking <laughs> fighters. Yeah, two misses again. Nice. Alright, let's pull uh yeah, let's pull everything back here actually. Just secure um We'll let them come in and then we'll just trade them as, as they come in. Into Okay. So We've just broken 200 tap power, which is nice. 30 odd lead on the uh, the axis. Okay, UK6 against uh, Snowden. Okay, 3 infantry for India. Six, one, two, three, four, five. Oof. Okay, I'm thinking about putting the fleet into 35. If I do that, it's a, there's a chance that this fleet, well, there's a good chance this fleet comes back to defend the money islands. I don't want all this crap coming <laughs> around South America and threatening my uh, logistic lanes. That's going to be a pain to deal with. Although I think we probably could. We could very quickly match them. It just means spending cash, US cash, on the fleet, which I really don't want to do. I don't want to spend anything on anything apart from uh, infantry and probably planes. <laughs> so I don't want to have to deal with this. So we can draw them back, maybe that might be a good thing to do. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean we're, we're sacrificing a fleet in uh, the Atlantic, but if we can bomb the hell out of Germany, I don't think it'll matter too much. We are stacking uh, Belarus this round. Okay. I want to buy. We can go. We can go two bombers just straight up. Which I might do actually. We'll do, yeah, we'll do two two bombers. And then we'll just we've got a transport in the Atlantic, which is nice, I suppose. So we can at least trade one territory a turn. Um, can't can't take France. No chance. I think we're just going to go for Finland. Finland ship for now. Get some guys on the ground. Do it that way. So. We'll replenish one infantry will give us another load to take the next time. In fact, I could just go... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mix. I'm going to add, I think, probably a single bomber per round, which means I can do also some shipping in as well, and just use the US fleet as uh, protection. So we'll do one more transport, and then we'll do one more load. So we've got two loads to go next time, an extra bomber. That's good. Yeah, let's do it that way. Um, let's try and hit both of these. Well, we will hit both of these. Kill this. Um, I'm going to take it, actually. I'm going to take it. Okay, bombing runs. Let's go for... Yeah. Let's go all in for Berlin. <coughs> Uh, we'll take the troops up north, I think, so I want to have some UK units on the ground here as well. So we'll forget about France for now, I think. 
Okay. That's good. Nice. Oof, that was heavy. That was some heavy hitting there. Jesus. That's what we like to see. Nice, that's good. Perma. No problems. Oof, cool. Okay, that's a that's a pretty much a perfect round for UK. That's awesome. Right, so let's grab a tank. Uh, no, tank can go second. There's no rush with the tank. Grab you. Um, to be fair, now we don't need the UK air force here. These fighters can come south. To be honest. We could use them for some kind of wacky fleet attack here as well. We've got a decent fleet with the UK. It's not, not terrible. <clears throat> you know, what I was thinking just then. I wish there was a way to like. I was thinking of Age of Empires. I wish there was a way to drag like create a box here by dragging across, selecting all the units that are in the, inside that box, and moving them as a as a group. That would be so nice. Well, instead of having to. Like here, just grab these individual ones and move them where you want. Anyway, um, right, let's probably leave, let's leave two up north, because we are going to be having units to trade. In fact, I don't, don't need them there for now. Does leaving them in the Caucasus does leave some kind of options in Japan as well? It's a good, it's a great landing zone. Two, three, four. Yeah, they can hit even fast thirty-seven. They still go back to India, which is nice. So we'll leave them in the Caucasus. Yeah, so pull the entire fleet down. So we've got some threats here. He's gonna have to have to deal with it. He can't ignore this. So I, w I will grab the money islands if he leaves me, <laughs> leaves them open to me. And I've got a big fleet. Well, not a big fleet, but I've got a fair amount of air power here to help out. Sure, I need to. So. Yeah, he's going to have to pull back, I think, from that. Uh, right, that's good. So let's drop this fleet. Small one as it is. You guys here. Perfect. So how are we looking? 205, 174. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Snowden, what the hell? <laughs> we did say this. We did say that this might happen. Um... So he's gone all out for Western United States. Uh, in doing so, he is sacrificing his money islands though, which is pretty insane. I don't think this is a good move whatsoever, I'll be honest. Um, but it does mean we may lose this for a second. It's going to be, we're going to take it back though. There's no problem taking it back. This is going to be extremely short-lived, even if he does take Western. Uh, it's going to be extremely short-lived. Um, and all is obviously, you know, his forward pressure just fizzles out because he's going to have to, you know, Wow, okay. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I was not expecting that. So yeah, I'm going to be able to grab a lot of stuff here, actually. We'll move in here with the infantry. We'll probably actually, we'll push forward here into Burma. Oh, actually, we need to make, no, into dead zone in Kazakh, I think. We'll go this way instead. Um, but yeah, we can grab, <laughs> grab East and East Borneo. These subs are not in range. He probably would have been better putting them into 60 to at least deny me 47 and Borneo. But as it stands now, we can take all of this. Um, I'll reinforce... Yeah, the planes, where are just planes? These are not in range. The fighter, so the bomber, one, two, three, four, five, it's not in range either. So nothing can hit 47 except for this destroyer. Wow. One, two, three, four. Damn, okay. <laughs> just wondering how, how hard to defend. Um, I can't ignore this. Obviously, I have to take it seriously because if, if it does, it could spiral out of control. He'll probably put a complex into Alaska. I would imagine this is his plan. Uh, so, I think we'll just do the normal ten to Western or we'll buy a fighter, 
I'm um, just thinking how much of this how much of this to pull back to uh, central. It's got fourteen units plus two bombardments, two planes. This will definitely fall, but I'm going to make it work for it. Yeah, I think we need to probably pull back most of this because if this if he, this battle goes well for him, then we're going to need a lot of units to trade. So I've got limited air power. Um, we'll do ten. Ah, love, love the bomber. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. So we'll drop the we'll drop nine in here plus this guy here as well. we'll move everything back, I think, plus the, the three planes we'll have. So there'll be twenty units or nineteen units in central plus some plane support. So that should be more than sufficient to get that back at least. Then we can think about pushing back to Alaska. Wow, interesting move. Really interesting. Um, okay, so let's grab, let's grab Baltic. Everything else goes in here. These planes are free to move as well now. I don't necessarily need them in India. No threat against India now. Uh, okay. back. <laughs> Pull the entire army back. Okay, land you here. Uh, oh yeah, we could do this actually, yeah. Let's pull the bomber back as well. I want the maximum firepower for, for hitting um, Western. And then also to push them back after that. So yeah, we'll bring the bomber back. It's going to be more use in uh, Western. Um, bring you up here. Um... The fleet, are we going to need the fleet for this? Possibly. Not yet. They may go south, possibly. In fact, I'm going to... Mm. We're going to be dropping off north of the UK, which is fine. So, let's just pull back for now. So we have presence around here. Because if he moves... He can move to 41. So it will be a range of... Uh, once he moves, he'll be in range of Brazil immediately, so... Okay. <laughs> it's going to make it fun, though. I, I can't... It's just, just playing the game, it's going to make this quite fun. I think, normally, Alaska, the, the minor landings of Alaska are super annoying to me, but a big one like this is quite interesting. <laughs> it's, it's a bit more fun to play. Um, I still think it's... The bigger the landing in Alaska, personally, I think it's the, the bigger the mistake, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think this is a big mistake, but... It'd be fun to defend from. And if the off chance he gets some seriously good rolls, no, that one that can't happen. Like he's got two few units. Because he, he manages the whole western somehow, but that's, that's not impossible. He might be going for a VC. Is there a VC snipe open here? Don't think so. No, definitely not. Okay. Well, he's achieved, you know. The breaking of my logistics because it's completely pulled off all my units, so that's that is something, I suppose. Um, 